subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From the world's first bionic bird to what makes spiders stick on all surfaces. These are some of the things that we talk about on this episode of Scientific. This is Mohana Basu and every week on The Print Scientific, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. Energy imbalance approximately doubled during the 14-year period from 2005 to 2019, which means that the Earth is now trapping nearly twice the heat. The Earth's climate is determined by a balance between how much of the sun's energy is absorbed in the atmosphere and at the surface and how much radiation Earth emits to space. The positive energy imbalance means that the Earth's system is gaining energy, causing the planet to heat up. Scientists at NASA and US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration compared data from two independent measurements. NASA's Clouds and Earth's Radiant Energy System or Ceres is a suite of satellite sensors to measure how much energy enters and leaves the Earth's system. In addition, data from a global array of floats called Argo enables accurate estimate of the rate at which the world's oceans are heating up. Since approximately 90% of the excess energy from the energy imbalance ends up in the ocean, the overall trends of incoming and outgoing radiation should broadly agree with the changes in ocean heat content. Increases in emissions of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane due to, the human, due to human activity trap heat in the atmosphere, capturing outgoing radiation that would otherwise escape into space. The study finds that the doubling of the imbalance is partially the result of an increase in greenhouse gases due to human activity, along with increases in water vapour, trapping more outgoing radiation, further contributing to Earth's energy imbalance. Also this week, for the first time, scientists have fitted a prosthetic leg onto a bearded vulture. Although all bionic aids have so far been used in humans, the technique known as osseointegration or direct skeletal attachment has now been used for the very first time in a bearded vulture. In large birds such as vultures, the loss of limbs results in the loss of ability to walk and ultimately to death from malnutrition. The limb can be replaced by a prosthesis, but so far it has not been possible to use conventional prosthesis in avian limbs given the extreme loads they have to withstand in daily use. The team from Vienna University of Veterinary Medicine had developed the world's first fully integrated bionic arm prosthesis last year. This is ready to use and is described by the researchers as plug and play. Bearded vultures are the largest flying birds in Europe with a wingspan of up to 2.6 meters. This particular bird, nicknamed Mia from the owl and bird prey sanctuary in Austria, had injured its foot so badly that it had to be amputated. However, according to the researchers, feet are vital tools for vultures. The bird could not survive long in its condition, so the team designed a special bone implant that could be surgically attached to the stump. Also this week, scientists have for the first time described the characteristics of the hair-like structures that form the adhesive feet of the wandering spider, Sapenius sali, which may help design strong but reversible adhesives. The research explains how spiders can walk straight up and even upside down across so many different types of surfaces. The feet of this species of spider are made of close to 2400 tiny hairs or setae, each a hundredth of a millimeter thick. Researchers collected a sample of these hairs and then measured how well they stuck to a range of smooth surfaces, including glass. They also looked at how well the hairs performed at various contact angles. What the team found was that each hair showed unique adhesive properties. Under the microscope, each hair was different and had unrecognized structural arrangements. The team believes that this variety may be key to how spiders can climb so many surface types. Although it is still very difficult to fabricate the nanostructures like those of the spider, the team believes the research can help achieve the stability and reliability of natural materials. Meanwhile, a new study found that coelacanths, an enormous fish that lives deep in the ocean, can live up to a hundred years, five times longer than earlier believed. 
Once thought to be extinct, researchers in France found that their oldest specimen was 84 years old. They also report that coelacanths can live extremely slowly in other ways, reaching maturity at the age of 55 and gestating their offspring for five years. The new age estimations also allowed researchers to reappraise the coelacanth's body growth, which happens to be one of the slowest among marine fish of similar size. Earlier studies attempted to aid coelacanths by directly observing growth rings on the scales of a small sample of 12 specimens. Those studies led to the notion that the fish didn't live more than 20 years. If that were the case, it would make coelacanths among the fastest growing fish given their large size. In this new study, the researchers looked at coelacanths, coelacanth specimens ranging from embryos in the utero to individuals of almost 2 meters. They were able to examine 27 specimens in all. They also used new methods to estimate individuals' age and body growth more precisely than before. This is Mohan Abbasu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.